okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so virgos i've been getting kind of like a download for you guys and so i just wanted to do like a you know a quick message on it now this is a general message so it may not resonate with everyone take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay now, I kept hearing two words, and I've been hearing them for over, like, maybe the last two days. And the two words that I've been hearing is misunderstood and underestimated. So, Virgos, I don't know if this is somebody around you that you feel may have misunderstood you. Virgos, you could just be feeling in yourself that you are just misunderstood by people. And then the underestimated, the same, right? Maybe somebody underestimated you. Maybe some of my Virgos, maybe you are out here underestimating yourselves. So just kind of take it how it resonates. But like I said, it kind of it kind of reminded me of me. And when I think about me, I like to think that I'm a very straightforward person. You know, simple. You know, because kind of with me, it's either it's black or it's white. You know, um, it's yes or it's no. I don't kind of like too many maybes or ifs or buts, you know. I don't really like too many grey areas. Um, and even though you could get 50 shades of grey until that field came out. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, but I did watch, let me stop, let me stop. Anyway, let me get back to the message. <laughs> so... It kind of reminds me of like, um, it made me think of like when I was growing up. You know, my mom was the kind of person who would say children should be seen and not heard. And so that's kind of how we grew up. Well, it was easy for me, right? Always being told to shut up, be quiet, shh, all that kind of stuff. And it was easy for me to adapt to that energy. And when I look back, I think it's maybe, is it because I was a Virgo? You know, being a hermit. I um, was quite happy with my own energy, right? Happy being by myself kind of a thing. It's like it, it wouldn't bother me. So I grew up quite, I grew up like, a, I want to say I grew up a child that didn't speak too much. I kind of, I spoke when I was spoken to, you know, kind of a thing. Um, but it was also the energy it made me think about the high priestess. Is that even though when I was growing up, I didn't speak a lot. It doesn't mean I wasn't looking, right? It doesn't mean I wasn't listening. It doesn't mean I wasn't learning. And I'm not talking about school books learning. I'm talking about learning people, learning the way people behave, um, that kind of energy, right? So when I did kind of speak when I was younger, I used to get in trouble a lot, <laughs> you know, I used to get in trouble a lot because I used to say, if I did open my mouth, it would be something smart or something clever or something sarcastic, you know, not every single time, but most of the time. Like, for an example, let me give you guys a quick example. Like, say my mom had friends, right? And let's say a group of three friends. And one of the people in the group maybe fell out with one friend or wasn't speaking to one friend for a little while, right? So say my mum had a friend that came round. Say, let's say Barbara came round. And my mum and Barbara, or Barbara ain't talking to Karen, right? But Barbara's come round to see my mum and they're having a drink and blah, blah, blah. And they're talking. And I'm just there, you know, minding my own business. Or oh, it would seem that way. I'm just playing with my dolls. You wouldn't think I'm paying attention, right? High priestess energy. Hermit energy. So they'd be talking and then, you know, Barbara would say to my mum, Hey, you know, you heard from Karen. And my mom knows that Barbara ain't talking to Karen. So she'd be like, no, I ain't heard from Karen. Yeah, I ain't going to talk to Karen. And I'd be sitting there thinking, but hold on. I'm sure you was on the phone to Karen yesterday. Now, I'm 100% sure you was on the phone to Karen yesterday. So then I'll go into that energy, you know, Virgo energy. Hmm, do I say something? Because I know the truth. And I know right now you lying. And I, you always told me not to lie. You know, so... Do I say something or do I be quiet? Now, I know because I ain't stupid. If I open my mouth and say something, there's a possibility I'm going to get in trouble, right? <laughs> 
But I open my mouth anyway. And I'll say, you know, mum. And she'll be like, yeah. And I'll be like, didn't you, wasn't you talking to Karen yesterday? And if any of you grew up with Caribbean parents, <laughs> family, <laughs> when they give you that look, you know that look like I'm a whoopy ass look? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd just be like, mm hmm. You don't even need to say anything with that look. I know exactly, I can hear the words without your mouth moving. I can, so I'd get up and leave knowing that, yeah, that's a 100% guaranteed ass whooping later, for sure. But it made me think, you know, some of those traits, I kind of bring them with me into adulthood. Where I still kind of grew up not saying much, holding a lot back. Because like even in adulthood, let's say a family member friend would text me and say, hey, how are you? I'd text back and I'd say, I'm good, thank you, how are you? And then they'd text me back telling me how they are and it would be a whole paragraph. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'll read your paragraph. I'll be down with, you know, see what's going on with you. But I'll read that whole paragraph and I'll message you back. Okay. <laughs> And sometimes people would take that as, oh, she don't care or she's not interested. And it's not that at all, right? The energy of being misunderstood. And then there are energy of underestimated where, you know, maybe because you are in that energy, Virgo, or you don't always want to be the center of attention or anything like that, people underestimate you. Because then people sometimes look at you, oh, Virgo's soft, or Virgo can't do this, or Virgo, until Virgo actually switches. So I don't even know how this is going to relate to any of you. <laughs> it may not relate to anyone. But it was a message that they gave me. And I've got to a point now when, when I get intuitive messages, I will relay them. If they stick with me, if I feel like, huh, oh, maybe this has something to do with the collective. Now, what they were giving me is, to pull six tarot cards and to pull three love and light cards so that's what i'm gonna do so i hope that virgo i hope that you all are well i will be doing another message for you guys okay but let's see what comes out in this six cards because i feel like look at this wanting to come out in my hand the queen of pentacles <laughs> so that was just my examples right i feel like there may be somebody here that's either regretting something virgos or like I said, there may be a Virgo here who's underestimating themselves in terms of doing something, right? Um, let's see what the cards say. What is the message for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? What is the energy here for Virgo? Give me the six cards. Thank you, Spirit. Sign of Virgo, what is the energy? Getting stuck, getting stuck. What is getting, wow, you don't want, I'm not saying it. <laughs> you didn't see what I was getting stuck. Uh, I'll tell you, it was the eight of wands and the four of wands. So, wow, you saw what came out in my hand, I wanted to come out in my hand at first, right? So we have the king of pentacles out here now. Now, with that eight of wands and four of wands, it could be someone here maybe hesitating to, I don't know, propose to someone. It could be that, right? Um, it could just be that somebody wants to communicate with somebody here. And with the eight of wands, it could also just be that somebody may want to take some kind of action towards you. You know, the four of wands could talk about your home. Someone may want to visit you at your home or something like that. Or let's see. So, king of coins. What else? What is the message for Virgo? Yeah. There's the anxiety and the stress and the worry. So we have the King of Coins and then we have the Nine of Swords. What is this message for Virgo? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at this. The Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Swords. Now, this could be, like I said, someone here wants to take some kind of fast action here, right? But with that hangman energy, that is an energy of feeling stuck. And then the Knight of Swords, there could be some challenging news here. Or, like I said, somebody wants to come in and fight for something. What is the energy here? The Virgo. 
underestimated and misunderstood. Seven of Wands. So we have the Three of Cups landing on this King of Pentacles. All right, the cards are getting messy now. What is the message here for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. What is the Nine of Swords? Thank you. The Eight of Cups. The last two cards. We have the Two of Wands. Last card. Thank you. And then we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, pretty much. For some of you, whoever this is that wants to come towards you, they have, it seems like they have cut something toxic out of their life here, right? Now, it could have been a person, it could have been a place, or it could have been a thing, whatever. And it looks like they've taken this action here because they don't want to miss an opportunity here. Even though for, it kind of seems like they're unsure whether they have or not, right? The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Look at that. And the Sun card. You know, whoever this is, they want to come towards you because they feel like you bring them peace, you bring them balance, or that's the way you come across to them here, right? They want to offer you this cup. And they see you as a Queen of Wands here, which is, I want to say, confident, beautiful. This is someone who is very motivated, the Queen of Wands, right? She doesn't underestimate herself. And it's almost like I'm hearing she will do it even if she has to do it alone. I don't feel like somebody has been spying on you guys. <laughs> There's that Knight of Cups, right? There's that wanting to take something to the next level because somebody sees you as happiness, vibrant. There's that Temperance card, and then we have the Lovers. Ooh, 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 ooh. that sounds like a whole different story. I ain't going into that one. Okay, okay. So... It could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be, right? They, this could be just your energy here. But the Three of Cups to me talks about reunited and it feels so good. It also talks about having something to celebrate. You have the Nine of Swords with the Eight of Cups. This is someone who is worrying and stressing that you have left this situation behind, Virgos, because it may, have not, it may not have been fulfilling you anymore. This may have been a situation that, you know what, somebody just wasn't given to you, right? So that Queen of Wands energy, of course, you're not going to stay around. You're going to find the confidence to get up and move on. To know that what is for you is for you. You have the Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. This is somebody trying to decide um, whether they should come in with this apology. Whether they should come in with this peace offering. Look at this man's face. Male or female. This could be somebody who is at a distance from you. I almost want to get three more cards. <laughs> Let's do it. Give me, what is this King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups? Show me more. What is this energy, Spirit? The Nine of Wands. Somebody who wants to come in and fight for something. I'm also hearing somebody who has regained their strength. King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yeah, the page of wands is somebody who wants to message you. Message is also about good news. I'm looking at the full card. This is somebody who may want to take a leap of faith here. Somebody who wants to start some kind of a brand new journey. But they got to find the strength. I don't know if this with that ace of swords, if this is somebody who's got to find the strength to tell you the truth about something. So... Let's get the three love and light cards and end out this reading. I really hope, because I really feel like there is a Virgo here that may be struggling with, I want to, like I said, feeling like they're misunderstood or struggling with their uniqueness, right? I really hope that card comes out because it gives me that energy of, why would you want to be the same as everybody else? Why wouldn't you want to be cut from a different cloth? What are the three cards for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. It's the energy here. One, thank you. This 
sign of Virgo. Thank you. What is this in there? Upside down. And one more. Thank you. So the three cards that you have. Oh, do you know what? See my spirit guides. <sighs> they don't <laughs> honor your uniqueness. So anyway, your first one out was focus on your blessings. It says you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. Focus on your blessings. Now, when, when, I, when I read this out, it, I'm, you know, I know a lot of people like to go straight to money, right? Straight to material things, blessings, all that means finances. No, not always. Think about it. Do you only want to be enriched in finances and material things? <clears throat> or do you want to be enriched in happiness and love? Genuine love. Do you, want to, do you not want to feel that peace in your mind? Depends what you see as blessings. Now, if somebody here is worrying about if they move on from something or move, you know, move on from a situation or move on from a job or move from a house, you know, am I going to be okay? Yes. If in your mind you're already saying you're going to be okay, who creates the fear? We create our own fear. And then we manifest that into reality. And then we wonder why things are going wrong. We stay in situations that we feel like we can't move on from. And we wonder why we're not happy. The universe says you play a part in your own destiny. You have spend more time outdoors. It says they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and they have prosper. In all they do. Nature. And then the card that I hoped came out. Honour your uniqueness. It says thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. But I feel like there's somebody here that doesn't know it. Honour your uniqueness. Be glad that you were cut from a different cloth. Be glad you ain't walking around like everybody else. Almost, <laughs> almost used the word there, but let me not. So Virgos, I don't know who needed to hear that, but that's what I have for you today. So guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. But Virgos, if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light.